Don't be shy, cause I, the life won't bring you down too far. Gary Cole is coming to the lead. Moving the lead. Joining up for Sean. <laughs> Oscar Bevis, Ryfeld TV in association with MTK Global. MTK Fight Night. I'm not even going to say your record because I've got it wrong about... 11. 11-0. and 0. He is 11-0. and 0. And I know you're going to tell me, Gary, it weren't in the circumstances you like, but you were bossing that fight until you got dropped. You sort of boss the rest of the round and you boss the fight after that. I know it was quite close on the scorecards, but I think... Could be pretty pleased with that performance. Yeah, like uh, obviously I'd say uh, it wasn't the perfect performance or whatever, but I think going forward I learned so much from that performance as well. Um, I thought I won every round until it was dropped. I thought I won the rest of the round after I was dropped, and I thought I won the rest of the fight then. So, like it was, I probably I think I lost probably about ten seconds of that fight. Um, but yeah, credit to Craig. He. Uh, he came in strong. I, I probably underestimated how strong he was. Um, took a fight up at 140. First fight up at 140. I'm probably naturally, I'm a natural 135. And yeah, I learned loads from him. I'm, I'm happy with the win. I'm happy with the performance. Yeah, cause you did say to me um, when we got into the bubble, what was it called it, on Monday, that you felt like this was a tougher fight than Kieran originally. And like you said, credit to Craig. Because he did, I think, what was it? They'd been texting Lee all week saying that they was going to try and stop you and knock you out. And for a split second, I think a lot of people in the arena thought you were gone. The way you fought, it was quite a heavy fight. Yeah, look, they were game coming into this fight. They they were texting Lee every day this week saying they were going to stop me, they were going to do this, they were going to do that. They they came to win, but that's what got me up for the fight as well, you know. Um, and I'm glad they did come to win. And probably a lot of people did think I wasn't getting up from that knockdown. I just literally when I was doing the, the interview after the fight, I seen it on the screen and it, it looked a heavy knockdown. Um, I didn't feel it was as heavy when I was in there. I felt fresh straight away after. Once I got up and held on for a couple of seconds, caught me bearings, I felt fresh again. But um, I think that's a credit to my fitness and how hard I work as well. I came back strong and uh, I didn't really, it didn't really phase me. What did you make of Craig at times sort of just dropping his hands and strolling forward? Because from where I was watching it, um, like I said, you won the first three, four rounds and he was sort of dropping his hands and strolling forward. It looked a bit lacklustre. It, did it confuse you a little bit? Because it's not like he was marching forward. He was just sort of strolling around a little bit with his hands low. Yeah, I think he, he, was, he got very, very frustrated when uh, I turned him off with a couple of right hooks. He, he did a couple of twirls in the ring and uh, yeah, I think he was just getting frustrated. But look, every, every single shot I caught him with, like... I have a, I, I hit hard with my left hand and I caught him some flush left hands and he just looked at me and smiled and kept marching for it. He's a tough man, my toughest fight definitely and uh, yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll thank Craig later on in my career when I go on and, and win bigger titles for that fight because I will learn so much from it. And I know as well, you might not want to look at it this way, but we spoke about how avoidable you can be with your height and being a southpaw and showing good technical skill. Now, do you reckon there's people licking their lips going, you know what, fancy a bit of Gary Cully because, he's, because you've been dropped. I mean, if you're going to look at it as an opponent, people are going to see that. And do you reckon now you might have people lining up to fight you, which is obviously only going to benefit you career-wise? Yeah, maybe so. Yeah, I hope so. Um, but look, everybody, I think, at some stage of their career is going to get dropped. And that's what tests That's what tests most fighters and prospects more so, um, is, is how you deal with them lockdowns. Like if, if you're going to go through a, a long boxing career, and not get knocked down fair play. Um, Floyd Mayweather done it, but uh, not not many can. Yeah, you know what I mean. Not many can do that. So, look, I'm I'm glad it's happened this early on, and I, I've learned from from I will learn from what's happened, and uh, it will stand to me going forward. So yeah, hopefully hopefully there is, but um, that won't happen again. I don't think. Well, look, the diva train rolls on eleven and zero, and uh, yeah, go and get some rest. Congratulations. Yeah, on to bigger and better things now, and uh, hopefully a big fight by the end of the year. Cheers, Oscar. Thank you, man.